Hello, it's Rachel. Today's project is going to be an art tag and to start with I'm creating a gesso resist background. For this I'm taking some gesso on a piece of an old credit card and scraping it across my surface, letting it dry before adding colour and I've chosen to add colour using some Caran d'Ache Neo Colour 2s. I've chosen two different shades of green and I apply these directly to the tag, scribbling them on and then activating the colour with some water. Next I'm going to add some stenciling to the project, for this I've chosen a Tim Holtz mini stencil and the ink I've chosen here is archival in the colour Garden Patina, I'm using a piece of Ranger cut and dry foam to apply the ink. I also want to add some stamping to my tag, so I've chosen a stamp by Crafty Individuals and I'm stamping this using Archival Ink in Manganese Blue. I've chosen a stamp set by Paper Artsy for the main images. I've chosen two of the whimsical flowers and I'm going to stamp these firstly directly onto my tag using some archival ink in jet black and then I stamp just the flower heads onto some plain cardstock so that I can colour them and cut them out separately and that way the background colours won't interfere with the colour that I want in the foreground. To colour the flower heads I've chosen again to use the Caran d'Ache Neo colours. This time I've chosen a purple violet colour for the main part of the flower heads and then I also select the lighter green that I used on the background of the tag and add this to the small circles within the flowers.
Now I'm using a third colour on the flower heads. This is a teal blue and it matches the background stamping that I've done on the tag already. I'm just going around the outside of the circles and then blending this colour a little bit so it gives the flower heads a little more depth and interest. After this I cut out the flower heads and add them over the stamped images on the tag using some golden matte medium. I want the text on the tag to match the colour on the flower heads so I'm just colouring in some lightweight cardstock and activating the colour with some water before stamping one of these art sayings by Sample onto the surface and I'm using Versafine ink in Onyx Black to stamp with. After this I cut out the saying and adhere it to my tag using some golden matte medium. To add some highlights to the flower heads I've chosen to use a Prisma Premier white pencil and off camera I blend this with some zest it blending solution which is similar to Gamsol or Mineral Spirits. After this I take a black Posca paint pen to give the text some definition so I outline the text with this and I also create a dashed border with it too.
This is a stencil by Heidi Swap and I've chosen to use the small circles from the stencil. I'm sponging them onto my tag using a piece of Ranger cut and dry foam. After I've done this I choose a second black pen, this time a micron pen because it has a smaller nib and I outline the circles and I also go over some of the stamped lines to bring back the definition on those too. Finally I've chosen some fibres for the tag in matching colours. I've punched a hole at the top using a crocodile tool and I'm just threading these through as a final touch. That is everything for today, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did I appreciate it if you leave me a like or a comment. If you are not a subscriber I'd appreciate it if you do subscribe to my channel also and if you hit the bell notification button then you get updated with notifications every time I upload a video. There is a full product list as usual in the video description as well as my social media. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.